September 9th, 2014 saw the release of Destiny 1, Bungie's next foray into the gaming world. They brought a new franchise into the looter shooter genre, very different after leaving Halo, which Halo is just a arena FPS style game. With Destiny 1 though, they helped to not only redefine the looter shooter genre, but also push it forward with Destiny 2 still releasing DLCs to this day. Now, in today's Nostalgic Nonsense, we're going to do something a little different, and someone else is going to be actually playing through Destiny 1 and showing off the game and some of their memories with this game. So, without further ado, let's jump right in. up everybody this is big savage coming at you with nostalgic nonsense i believe that's how we're gonna pronounce i think i don't know anyways we're just recapping it on the past of this game that i actually used to play a hell of a lot and uh we're gonna see how much memories do i have of this game and let's see if we can remember all the good stuff. And slightly remember all the bad crap that happened in this game. And, uh, let's see if this game is a lot better than Destiny 2. I say it is. Most will disagree. Which, that's okay. I still say Destiny 1 had a better chance to kept going. But that is not why we're here. We are here to enjoy Destiny 1 and remember the past of it. And of course your boy here, Big Army? Savage, has to go as the Titan. Work. You're alive! You don't know how long I've been looking for you. I'm a ghost. Actually, now I'm your ghost, and you? Well, you've been dead a long time. So you're going to see a lot of things you won't understand. This is fallen territory. We aren't safe here. I have to get you to the city. Hold still. Don't worry, I'm still with you. We need to move. Fast. We won't survive long out in the open like this. Let's get inside the wall. Alright. There we go. So this is like the beginning of the main quest of becoming an... Uh, I got stuck somehow. So, anyways, back to what I was saying. Uh, so yeah, this is like the beginning of when you were okay. I need to find alive. you a weapon before the fallen find us. Thank you, guys, for interrupting me while Quiet. I was talking. They're right above us. Excuse me. You be quiet. Tight. Fall and thrive in the dark. We won't. We need more light. I'll see what I can do. Oh, look what at that. Not creepy at all. And a few centuries of entropy working against me. Oh, wow. That's not creepy at all. They're coming for us. No, you don't Here, say. I found a rifle. Like I Red. I hope you know how to use that thing. Yeah, it's pointing to shoot. Your eyes full. Common sense. Watch your tracker. I. I see. 
I did that on purpose, by the way. Secondly, you didn't have to shoot them. You could have easily punched them. Um, it's a good thing you guys were not here when I first played this. So. Yeah, you could have done that to those two guys. But anyways, nonetheless, like I was saying, you could have done that uh, in the first part. Um, and you could have punched them. But it was a good thing you guys did not see me do it my first time ever playing Destiny. I was playing as a hunter class, and this was when the demo came out. Wow. Do I There's more that? ahead. Keep it up. And I believe the demo had the guy who played as the uh, what's his name from uh, Lord not almost a uh, Lord Loot Cash. Wrong one. Let's see what's um, inside. He played in um oh my god. Game of Thrones. Trip mines. Don't touch them. Yeah, see, when I first played this game, I didn't think of this trick. But when you start actually playing the game more, you remember that. I never forgot my place. Oh. I'm pretty sure somebody else. Just say, ah! That did not kill him. Whoa. Oh, fuck out of here. So yeah. But yeah, when I first played this game on the demo, um, when that dude came out of the uh, walls, when you really all came out of the walls, it scared the fuck out of me. So, me punching him was like this. Like all over the fucking place. Just doing all that. That's what I looked like when I, when I first uh, went through that mission on the demo. Pretty funny. It would have been a lot more funnier if we actually saw that. Come up to me and punch me. The Fallen have a tighter so. hold on this place than I thought. Anyways. Just a little bit further. Let's hope there's something left out there. I like your mom. Oh! No. Uh, I used to joke the hell out of the ghosts. Not, not really. This was an old cosmodrome. There's got to be something we can fly up. Oh, well. Incoming! Calvary. Where? Fallen ships. This close to the surface. Move! Ooh! Should I stay or should I go? You know what? I'm gonna stay. Fuck these guys up. I'm tight. Did you just knock behind? Oh. Hello. Ooh, ooh, okay, maybe I should have went. I forgot it's more easier to switch your gun than reload. Fuck out my face. Oh, oh, I, at least I killed that thing. Out of here. Peekaboo, I punched you. Oh, fuck out of here. Yay, I'm, I'm level two. I'm picking up signs of an old jump ship. Could be our ticket out of here. Or it could be your mother. Uh... <laughs> Let me stop. 
Still alive, my friend. Oh, you're not really my friend because you're trying to kill me. There's a oh. ship. Clear them out. Really? That's a ship? I couldn't tell. Um. Okay. Um. Okay. I. Oh, I forgot they can teleport. Yeah. So apparently the captains can teleport. I totally forgot that. I really thought the game was like I, I actually really did actually bad amount of part. I mean I just now remember that they can teleport. Oh hello. Oh hello. Oh there's too many. Are you trying to like fucking stab me? What kind of person runs up to against them? Okay. Why around me? Shoot me in the back, why not? Hi. Bye. Alright, All right. Right. let me see if I can get us out of here. Uh, what the fuck happened? Oh, cutscene. It's been here a while. Hasn't made a jump in centuries. We're lucky the fallen haven't completely picked a clean. Will it fly? I can make it work. I remember when I first played this game, I, I actually was so happy that we were able to fly a spaceship. But... Yeah. Then I realized that that okay. was... Okay, it's not going to break orbit, but it just might get us to the city. Now, above that transit... Woo! It's not... It's, uh, general... Bringing you in! It's, it's, uh, uh, or no, not, uh, not general. Uh, what's that? Fuck my... We can come back to them when you're ready. Uh, Emperor Zerg. Let's get you up. Combine is what I'll try to say. Yeah. Ooh, excuse me. Yeah, I, I definitely remember the rewards that you were given at the end of the game. The reward that I got was a ship. And I, I do remember that was the only thing you got every time you start a character. That was the only reward you got from being the beginning. <laughs> you didn't get nothing else. That was the only thing you got from that part, which kind of upset me a little because I was like, really? I mean, that's not part of a reward. That's something you need in the game. So I was like, why didn't they just give you some kind of reward like a gun or, you know, a weapon mod something but I did love the graphics and the graphics are still up more than the 360 all the way to the Series X three different consoles and yet the graphics Destiny 1 was one of my favorite one G games that they made and so they made Destiny 2 and Destiny 2 became my worst Bungie game they ever made. I know a lot will disagree with that, but that's that's fine. I'm it's my opinion versus everyone else's. I I, I know how to accept it. <laughs> Even when it's terrible, now I'm kidding. <laughs> Welcome to the last safe city on Earth. The only place the Traveler can still protect. It took centuries to build. Now, we're counting every day it stands. And this tower is where the Guardians live. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't think the audience really care about the lecture there, buddy. 
anyways, so yeah, when I first played this game back, like I said, on the demo, I really, really thought that this was, um, I expect my game to load this long. Give me a second so I can actually fully finish what I was going to say. Come on. There we go. So I really thought that this was another planet. And that was the planet we were just on doing that mission. But come to find out that this planet that we're on is actually the same planet we were on from the beginning of the mission. This is Earth. And then that right there, that big shiny planet looking like thing, it's actually the Traveler. That's who's protecting Earth in this city. So, yeah. Don't tell me that when I was playing this game because I really thought the game was just being very cheap and really crappy because, you know, I really thought that was the plant we were just on. And then that this was the Traveler because, yeah. Anyways, moving on. <laughs> so, as you can tell, I am playing as the Titan. Uh. There, there's three classes you can play as the Hunter, you can play as the Warlock, of course the Titan, I said his name like three times already, do you think? Three times? <clears throat> How can we help? Um, give me all your money. I never doubted myself either. I trust you. I do, you have my trust. I do. Ain't you so kind? Back to the front, Guardian. Relax, Titan. Oh. Use from the field, Titan. Okay. Anyways. So, basically, these are your armor stats and stuff like that. Uh, the higher level you became, you were able to unlock a lot of this, you know, neat new stuff. And the more you leveled up, the more you leveled up your oh, Titan's uh, skills. You had three different powers. If you got the DLC, you got the third power. The third power was the... I call it the this Thor power. The but it's actually the Sun I power, which is the, the only ability to throw flaming Thor hammers at your enemies. Which I thought was really cool this when they added that into the game. Days off to but a good start. My main weapon that I liked the most sure. Guardian was the striker. And the reason why I liked the striker was because one of the abilities when you got up to a higher level, you were able to like do fucking you were able to wreak havoc. Let's just put it that way. That's why I like the Titans class. Especially back in the 360 times when, you know, I had a lot of friends play 360 and we used to play a hell of a lot of Destiny 1 and used to do raids and stuff like that. And it was a lot fun, a lot easier. Are you keeping that ship in the... What can I fix you up with? I should. Thank you. Good luck out there. But yeah, like I was saying, the Titan uh, was one of my favorite class. I just liked it when the part where, you know, you get, you see all your friends get their butt kicked by the boss fights and the raid fights and stuff, and you get that ability and you just go in there, and you just start acting like the Incredible Hulk. That's one of the reasons why I like that ability. Guardian. Um. Please. But. Another reason why I do like the Thor, I call again, it's the sun ability, but I call it the Thor because you're throwing hammers. But the reason why I like that one a little bit more than the, what was this called again? Striker, Jesus. I don't know how I've got the name already. But yeah, uh, you can actually sit back and throw the axe or hammers at an enemy from a very good distance so 
while you're back there throwing the axes and, or hammers at your enemy, providing cover for your um, team, Jesus, your team is sitting there doing what they have to do, like Hunter is able to, you know, either snipe or whatever they prefer their profession to be like. So I believe we gotta go in. I don't know why I keep doing that. So few of these fragments survive. <sighs> but yeah, that that was one of the, another one reason why I like that ability because the build, like I said, that ability was amazing when it came to pretty much being the artillery just dropping hammers on top of your foes. Um, the next one, the other ability I liked was the defender ability. There's so little left out here. We were lucky to even find so, this ship. So, when you Agamian had the DLC, I the city without one. Oh no, wait, but it wasn't it even the DLC. But it needs a warp drive if we ever hope to fight beyond Earth. I think it was the DLC. I think it was added in Destiny 2. I think it was added in Destiny 2. We might still find one. We survived yeah, it was added in once. Destiny 2. We can do it again. When you were able to throw the shield at the enemy. A guardian ship was recently shot down here. If the fallen haven't gotten to it, there might be parts we can salvage. The ship's avionics are completely catatonic, but I can call their last transmission. That was the old 360 thing in Destiny. I mean, I know it was in every other game, but that would right there just brought a lot of memories. Playing Destiny 1. Oh my god, that's loud. That's like in my ear. They managed to restore an information hub here. Down in the tunnels yeah, really? below. We should check it out. A map of the entire area. What we really need to find is a warp drive, so we can jump to any planet or moon. Our only hope is where we found our ship. We have to go back. If I want to go back, <laughs> anyways. But yeah, like I said, I mean, there was a lot of good memories that I have with this game. I used to grind the hell out of this game a lot. I had, um, on the 360, before I lost my account, I had almost every exotic weapons and armor. Also why I'm kind of sad that I lost them all. Because that was not easy to get. Those were like the hardest challenge to get. Well, majority of them were hard. Some of them you had to go up against like the raid bosses. And yeah, that was not fun. Ooh, arm. Look at that, I'm starting to look like a titan. <laughs> Scanning for the warp drive. Bad news, it's already in fallen hands. Oh, is it really? I hope you're oh, ready Christ. for this. I ain't know. Of course I'm ready. Or would you assume that I'm not ready? Huh? I'm always ready! Be your best shot! Come on! I'm ready! How about you? Oh shit! Oh yeah, I forgot the big guy comes out. Alright, hold on. Um, I'll put that real fast. Um, woo! Yo! Oh, I really forgot how much 
shot me like No. No, he stunned this guy. Ow, fuck you. Okay. Here on. Come on. Oh, he's getting close. Oh, oh, I got stuck. Oh, I got stuck. Oh, he's getting closer. Hey, good sir. That is cheating. Oh, Oh, what the fuck? Yeah, I'm gonna grab that. Ooh, ooh, ooh. What on? Oh, ow, fuck off. Hey, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hey, suck this. Eat this, buddy. Fucking god damn. Hiya! Oh my god. Shut up. What? I ain't scared of you. There we go. Alright, my fucking kill over here. Fucking punch you. Out of here. Woo! You just killed an Archon. And we got a warp drive. I damn right I did. Cause I'm the boss. Oh yeah, by the way, these were also my favorite guns right here. Alright, let's see what we got. 17, one piercing shot. Mm, wow. Alright, I got new gloves. No pants, but gloves. Better than before, I guess. Alright, so. Um, oh, what the fuck? I don't know, okay. Um, 17, that does Arctic though, or that's not Arctic, what is this? Oh, whatever, all right, um. Now we go here. I do say though, the graphics in this game is still amazing up to this day. Like I'm actually playing this on a Series X and this is just, it's still as good as it was on the 360. That's how good this is. That's why I missed Destiny 1. Interesting. Glad you won't be yep. disappointed. Yep. Come back soon. And yeah, by the way, that's the guy who does like your Ingram's stuff. Oh, 24. Oh, I have to be four to get it. Is an Ingram? But yeah, like I said, uh, you take the Ingram's that you get or blueprints. And uh, you take it to uh, to him and he, I guess, what can I do to it or something. Never doubted you for a moment. Yeah. 
Stand hey, dude, you're a liar. Make it quick. I understand. I I understand. Yeah. Blah blah. All right. Uh. When I lost my life, I knew I could never return. You. Like I said, this was just a uh, nostalgic nonsense uh, thing, just to recap on Destiny One from the. You know, all the times I used to play this game. I like I said, I really did like this game. This was probably like my favorite PVE slash PvP slash co op game that I could possibly think of. Playing I, I could honestly it if Destiny One was still updated like how Destiny Two was, yeah, I, I definitely would have been playing Destiny One every day. As you can see, there are still a lot of, maybe not a lot, but there's still some Destiny 1 lovers who are still playing this game. You got pointing, you got dancing, you got all this cool stuff, waving. Even the sitting down, it was really cool. I like the fact that this was the first game I played online where you can actually just come with everybody and just sit right here and you know set up your raid uh, groups and go raiding and stuff like that and it was cool how you can make new friends and shit like that I made a lot of friends through destiny 1 actually which is actually pretty funny I made a lot of friends through destiny 1 than I did on any other game um, but yeah, like I said, this one was like my favorite Bungie game when they went up, you know, splitting from Halo. But yeah, like I said, this was just a nostalgic nonsense or something like that. Catching up on Destiny 1, showing you guys what I loved and miss about Destiny 1 on the 360. And uh... See you in the next one, and uh, have a great night. And thanks for tuning in.